Hi, everybody. All right, so in the last video, we prepped all of the pieces for the canopy to do the fiberglass. And we resined in these, which are the three big pieces. These represent the foundation of the entire area that is getting fiberglass, which is why we're using the saran wrap technique. This way, none of the pieces wind up distorting in any way. So you stick it all on the saran wrap, outline it there, and then just be very careful with it. So here's the canopy. We've done a couple of extra steps of prep uh, before, way in the past. We'd gone ahead and roughed up the bottom of the canopy and the top of the canopy frame, so we were happy with that. The electrical tape was in place. All we have done is we've added a layer of really high quality painters tape on top of the electrical tape, and we've also pre-epoxied up that area. So you can see the dark, we can see the, <laughs> the runs going down there. Uh, we've mixed epoxy resin up with my black 2.0 paint. And people have been asking about that. Uh, where do you get that? You can just, it's called Black 2.0. Find it on Amazon. It's good stuff. You only need about 5% per volume to get it that dark. And that's some dark stuff. So once you've got the foundation on, the three big pieces there, uh, we're going to go ahead and start adding on a bunch of thin strips that uh, sit in the front. The idea is that we want to build this thing up until the front edge has uh, a radius of about a four degree, or four, I'm sorry, four inch radius on the fiberglass to sort of blend the canopy into the canopy frame. And you'll just keep adding strips until it looks like it's close. Now the nice thing is this is fiberglass, so if you don't put enough, you can always put more. And that's 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 my that's my approach has always been <clears throat> less is more. And just wait and see if you got it close. If not, you know, just add a couple more strips and you'll be good. Although uh, I will say this. So you you saw the last video I wound up cutting like I think seven or eight long strips that go across. I think I only wound up using like five. Again, I can always add more later, so So, order of operations for this. So we're going to lay down this, all this cloth now. We're going to let it dry for like a week. And then we're going to go in and we're going to start sanding. If there's any low spots or if there's big bubbles or something or big defects, we're going to use more cloth and resin to make sure that's in. Because because the, the cloth is for the strength, right? We need this to be very strong. So if there's any areas we need to patch, we can do that with cloth. Let that dry, saying that's more. Once we're happy and we're only down to minor defects, then I'll use some filler for that. And once you get it just, and, and the idea is you're just trying to get it as close to perfect as you can. And then when you're happy with it at the end, then you can just go and use um, like epoxy primer on it. And then we'll wind up sanding that down to like 800 finish. It'll be, you know, it'll look seamless. So yeah, it's just like all the other uh, composite work you've seen me do. It's just put on a layer, put on the gunk. Put on the layer, bring on the funk. <laughs> so we'll do a bunch of these long strips that go into the center, right? And then... As you can see, right at about the edge where that piece is I just put on, because that one wasn't all the way across. At a certain point, the front curve sort of transitions down and to the side. Now, we still put filler there, which is fine. But those two pieces, the B and C, that you'll you see me putting on the C now, or I'm sorry, that's the B, is more than enough to fill in those sides. You will be sanding that a lot. And there goes the C. So once we have all those layers on there and we're happy, then we are going to put some peel ply across the top, just like we do with any other composite project. This will give it that nice uh, pebbly finish, which you can either sand if you're happy with, or you can just leave because it makes a great gripping surface for more, uh, more material. All right. 
next video, while this is drying, we're going to start working on, we're going to do some more uh, engine wiring work, CHT stuff. So thank you for joining me, everyone. Hope you're having a good week. See you soon.